Hello, my lovelies. Elsie here to do your sneak peek for this week. It is for the singles. Look, I know I kind of ripped you off on Friday. It's like all the energies hit me at once on Friday, y'all. I was down, down for the count, Friday and Saturday. So my brains are here, they are fresh, and you get your sneak peek. But this time, it's going to be for the week. This is for the singles. Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. If you've never been here before, welcome. I hope you'll be in the comments to let me know that you're here. I hope you will stay by hitting that, that subscription button and pressing the bell button to know when I am uploading. So I'm here to do the sneak peek <coughs> for the singles. And I'm going to read all the way from Aries to Pisces, and then I'm going to mark everything down below in the description below so you can just scroll this video and find what you need. But I hope that you will stop watching tarot. Please, please, please stop watching tarot just for your sun sign. Natal charts are free everywhere, my friends, and you can get them for free um, anywhere on the internet. So I hope you will go find at least, at the very least, your moon and your rising. You don't need to be an astrologer to find your moon and your rising. So thank you for um, being here. I appreciate you. Let's take a look at what's going on for you. We're going to start with Aries. Happy birthday, my friends. We are getting through your season like it's gone by like a flash, like wildfire. It's getting pretty close to Taurus season. Got about another, let's see, another week or so. All right, Aries. Single Aries. Let's find out what's coming up for you. Sneak peek for this week, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Because I want to not only know about Venus, love, but I also want to know about your abundance, which is Jupiter. Let's find out what's going on for you, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the birthday babies. What's coming up for Aries? Tell me what's coming up for Aries, please. This week. Whenever you find this, it is going to be for the week. Sneak peeks are always for the week. Whether you find it today, tomorrow, or next year, it's always going to be for the current week. There is something transforming or ending for you this week, Aries. What's going on here? Tell me more about Aries, please. Tell me more about Aries. What? What? <laughs> Aries, you have some major energies going on here this week. What is going on? What are you doing? What have you been doing while I've been laying on the sofa? <laughs> Aries, Let's keep going. So we have the judgment, by the way, for those of you who are listening and not watching. We have judgment card in the upright. Uh, right next to it is the death card, and right next to it is you, my friend. The emperor is looking straight at everything here. There's some major rumbles in the distance here, my friend. You are going to have some type of change coming up this week. We do have the Three of Wands, we have the Justice card, and we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I bet. I bet. That's what it looks like. It feels like somebody's making a dash for the finish line. That's what it feels like here. That something here, a major decision that you're about to make in your life this week, Aries, is um, going to give you an about face. You're going down a different path here with the death and the judgment card here. It tells me that there is a major decision which is bringing something to an end and it's because you say so you need justice and that's why this is all happening now when the major arcana show up aries you don't have a choice those are coming at you 100 and you're gonna have to either react or respond but you know what you look pretty comfortable i'm just saying you look pretty comfortable sitting here on your throne and it does feel like you're confident that you are going to get some justice because there is something is changing or ending and i feel like it's because you're making a major decision my friend and i feel like that goes down this week we've got virgo and pisces energy we've got scorpio energy of course that's aries we've got libra here and then we've got the nine of wands and the three of wands we've got fire energy right more fire energy so I want to say that you're, you've been waiting. I feel like you've been strategic, Aries, and you've been waiting for the right time to make this decision. And I don't think you can hold back anymore. The Three of Wands is here, which is telling me that, that you've been waiting for the right time to end something here or transform your situation. And it's because you need justice. You must have the truth come out. You must speak the truth. Something Something is about to go in your favor because you've decided it so. Very interesting. The Three of Wands, waiting on the right moment to say something. Because with the Nine of Wands here, I feel like with when we see that last wand, which is also in your hand, by the way, I feel like um, you're out. I feel like you're leaving somewhere, whether it's a job, maybe you're selling a house. Um, it's, it's a major change, though. It's taking you on a, a new adventure here. 
tell me what this justice uh, sorry not the justice card but the judgment card for aries is please sun moon rising venus and jupiter what is the judgment all about We've got the Two of Swords. It's something that you have been holding on to up to here. You didn't see the situation for what it was until now. That's what it seems like. There is a something here that has had you stuck. Stuck in the mind, not wanting to move forward, not seeing the situation for what it is. We have Temperance here. And we have the Nine of Cups. So we do have a moment of alchemy, my friend. And the moment of alchemy is the time when everything in the universe is right, correct? And it's time for this to go down. And that's what you've been waiting for. So we do have temperance here, which is, like I said, is the moment of alchemy. It's time for you to wiggle your way out of this Two of Swords energy, being stuck in the head, stuck in the mind, not seeing the situation for what it is. Some sort of something is opening up this week, and you are going to see something for what it is. You're going to see your wish fulfillment or what is going to make you happy it's a moment of clarity that you're getting, a moment of clarity, and it's going to get you out of this two of swords. Bottom of the deck, we do see the star, which tells me that you are focused, very focused on wish fulfillment because the nine of cups is here and the star has shown up. Why do you need justice, my friend? Why does Aries need justice? We've got the uh, Knight of Swords. So it feels like you are going to be using some words, but I don't necessarily, I think you are spitting the words. I think you're the one throwing the words at somebody here. The uh, Prince of Swords or the Knight in this particular deck is the Prince. The Knight of Swords here is right next to Justice. And so there's the two swords we were talking about over here. What was, what's going down here is you're getting some justice about the truth. It's about to come out now. And you are just going to throw it at somebody. You're just going to tell them how it is and let them sort it out. Tell me what else is coming up for Aries, please. We have the Six of Swords and then you're moving on. Oof. Aries, I feel like you're ending something here. So you're either going out of a, an old job in the blaze of glory, um, or you are telling somebody exactly how you feel about them. Maybe it's a friend, could be a lover. And then you're on your way. You've decided it's too chaotic here. You're cutting away from the chaos and going to the calm of the Two of Cups. That's very interesting. We'll come back to that, but I want to know exactly what is ending here. Tell me about the death card, please. What has Aries been waiting to end? We do have... Um, the princess of swords who is the page so you are a student now you're watching and learning you're watching somebody learning whether it's the employer or the person that you're dating or the person who's the realtor you are really being a student of the game here you are watching and learning and um it feels like there is going to be an ending because of whatever you've dug up whatever information you've dug up it is the Six of Cups. I feel like there is a soulmate or, yeah, it does feel like soulmate energy to me. It feels like this person that you are ending things with is someone that you have a lot of history with, a lot of memories, a lot of nostalgia. And the sun is here. So I feel like with the sun being here that you have, you've gained such clarity, like complete clarity over the situation. I feel like you know what you're getting into. Aries, I feel like you know that there is, if this is a love relationship we're talking about, that this is someone that you have a lot of history with, someone that you've been with for a while. Something's coming to the surface with the Page of Swords. I'm just saying, you are about to find out something or realize something. I feel like it's information that's finding you about the person that you're with. Or it, for, for those of you who are leaving a job, you've been there for a long time, but it's going to take this information with the Page of Swords. That's the last straw. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. That's what makes you make the decision to move along here because it breaks your heart. We've got one Ace, uh, Ace of Swords in the hand of the of the page and then we have the two swords across the way here and that's three swords is disappointing or um heartbreaking but you've been waiting for the right time to bring it up tell me what the ace of swords is bringing up here we've got the ace of wands it's making you want to go on a different path it's it's 
it's the information that you get I feel is is um, exciting um, but I don't feel as though it is yeah the end of something is the thing that you're excited about I don't feel as though it is something that you really had planned or something it's like something that you know you must end Aries you must end this thing but I feel like once you're free of it the Ace of Wands shows up. And, and like I said, we needed just the Ace of Wands to be here with the Nine because you're dropping some really big burdens here and you're heading on your way. We have the Ten of Swords, which tells me that something is over, something that you feel betrayed by. So we do have the, uh, the Devil energy here. It does feel like it's relationship related. It feels like you what comes to the surface is something that's super toxic, something that you weren't expecting. And I feel like you decide you're just out. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're out to your wish fulfillment. The King of Cups is here, Eight of Wands. You're ready to communicate with somebody else. You're out. It almost feels like, Aries, I'm going to say that it feels like if it's a relationship, it's one that you've been in for a while. And something that you thought that you could ignore, you can no longer ignore. It comes up in your face, whatever it is. And it feels like it's pretty toxic. It's an addiction or somebody is stepping outside of the relationship or something like that. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here. But everything's pointing in the future to, to love here, to Two Cups. And I think that you're leaving somewhere to go somewhere else. You're the magician. We got the Five of Swords in the reverse and you're off. You're out. There you are. So I, I feel like Whatever is going on here, you just don't want to fight anymore. You're not fighting the system. You're not fighting the person. You just have decided to go silent. You're just not going to say anything anymore. And you've realized that you're worth, and that's why this is happening. And you do have the fool here, which tells me that this is the week that you're out. I feel like you've had enough. You're out. And we've got the two of pentacles. It's been a struggle and a juggle. You've been trying to figure out exactly what it is that's been going on. And I feel like whatever it is, something is coming to the surface this week that is going to make you leave a situation, whether it's a job or a relationship, and go to something new, a new job, a new relationship, or a new person, whatever it is. We've got Aries. We've got more Aries. We have... Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We've got the Justice card, which is Libra. We have the Star. It's Aquarius. We have Capricorn. We've got you as the Emperor. We've got Leo energy. We've got Temperance, which is Sagittarius. Um, and then we have um, Scorpio, Virgo, and Pisces. And we have, you know, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A lot of swords showed up here in your reading. All right, my friend. Here we go, Taurus. How are you? Thank you for clicking here, my bull gang. I appreciate you. Here we are. If you're interested in a private read, Taurus, please look below this video. At the top of the comments, I have pinned the information you need if you're interested in a private read. All right, here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the single Taurus. Tell me what's coming up in the week ahead for the single, not the week ahead, sorry, this week. It's the sneak peek for this week. For the single Taurus, what's going down? We've got the Five of Coins. We've got the Nine of Swords. We've got the Two of Cups. Taurus. Taurus, I feel like something has been bothering you at night, I want to say. That there is some... Hmm, I'm going to say that you still have something on your mind from the past. It might be that you're disconnected from somebody that you very much love that you have uh, loving feelings for. I feel like really, Taurus, that, that what this is saying here is that you're like, where's mine? Like I've been waiting, where's mine? I feel in, in poverty, like you feel disconnected from love and it feels like it's on your mind constantly. For some of you, you need to find something else to do than to sit here ruminating on a love that may may or may not show up. But I think for others of you, it's almost like you you know that something is arriving, but you're wondering where it is. That's what it feels like here. Tell me more. We do have the Ten of Cups. Mm, that's what it is. You're thinking and dreaming about the Ten of Cups. Feeling disconnected from family, like not your mom and dad and sister and brother, but I mean, I feel like you want a family, loving, happy, 
10 of cups sort of emotionally balanced and happy relationship. And I feel like you dream about it. I feel like it, it, it intrudes on your daily thoughts. I feel like it feels like someone here is feeling lonely. And um, I feel like you've had this before, the 10 of cups, but obviously not with the right person or you would be looking at you know, some something else. And I think that you are because with the five of cups comes the, the five of, uh, sorry, the ten of cups comes the five of pentacles. And I feel like you're feeling in lack about the ten of cups. I want to say that there is something coming here. And I think that you know it, Taurus. There is a, a very rare um, transit coming up in your sign. And it is Jupiter meets Uranus. And something huge is about to happen around that time and it begins this energy begins on the 20th of april so it really is in your season right in taurus season i want to say that something is showing up here with the ace of swords it might be a new conversation a contract for some of you it could be clarity somebody's about to reach out and say something i feel like i feel like you you're obsessively thinking about someone that matches the Two of Cups. It'll be different for everyone, of course. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. What do we need to know for Taurus about the Ace of Swords, please? We have the Magician. We have the Six of Swords and the Emperor. Interesting. Taurus, I feel like... I feel like you're getting communication for, for whoever matches the energy of the emperor. And it could be any sign, y'all. This is Aries. For some of you, you're dealing with an Aries. But don't forget, we're talking about all of the energy of all the kings. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo, right? So we're talking about all of the energies of the emperor. I do believe that the emperor is using their magic to cut away from the past from, they're leaving something from the past, getting out of there. It's chaotic over there. And I feel like they're moving forward. I feel like the emperor is, is moving forward to you here. I feel like you are going to get some sort of communication from the emperor. Tell me about that, please. I think the emperor wants to talk about the Ten of Cups, my friend. Keep dropping cards, but you know what? Screw that. I ain't picking them up today. <laughs> they can stay on the down floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, this is really weird because if you scroll back just a little bit here, you will see that this is matching the energy of, the, of Aries. Aries energy is what I just read. And this is what I read. The emperor is done. The emperor has something that has come to an end here. And now what is the emperor doing? Getting on the horse, leaving Dodge, getting the heck out of Dodge. And they want victory here. Somebody is headed your way. And I think that they're headed your way, Taurus, because one, they see that you get a lot of attention. Two, you're very desirable. You have a very attractive energy right now. You are definitely attracting something. And this emperor, being the king of cups, is highly intuitive, highly psychic even. I feel like this person knows that this is it. They got to come toward you and they got to say something or that's it. I feel like you are attracting love here, Taurus. So whether it's the emperor or not, could be a Scorpio. We have Scorpio, we have Aries, we have Aries here. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Tell me about the two of cups for Taurus, please. We have the three of cups. There is a reunion coming here in love after sadness because three and two is five. And so the five cups are present here. So it looks like after a long time of regret that the two of cups is bringing in the three of cups. And then we have temperance. It's the moment of alchemy. This is mimicking, tor uh, mimicking Aries reading that I just did. And then we have the three of swords. It's in the reverse, my friends. It feels like we need to heal this. And temperance is the healing patient loving energy it's also the moment of alchemy this is the moment and that's why the emperor is on the move because this is the moment of alchemy it is time i feel like this week taurus is the week where you finally hear from the emperor for some of you not all of you of course it's a general reading but i feel like there is something that needs to be needs to go down after a very very long time. We've got the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Something 
or someone who has been very patient, moving very slowly, is coming in and it is going to cause a brand new, exciting beginning for you. We do have Leo energy here. We do have Scorpio. We have uh, Aries energy. We have more Aries energy here. We have Sagittarius. We have a lot of water energy. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. There we go. Taurus. It's an intense week. And if you're dealing with an Aries or the Emperor, uh, it's going to be an intense week for you, my friend. All right. Gemini. What's going on with you, Gemini? For the single Gemini, sneak peek for this week. Tell me about Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know for this week for the single Gemini? Tell me about the single Gemini, please. Gemini singles. Gemini, we have temperance. Look, temperance has come up in three hands so far. It's like things are coming into alignment, I want to say. <clears throat> This is a time when things are coming into alignment. Temperance is patience and kindness and balance and healing, but it's also the moment of alchemy. And uh, it feels like there is going to be something that's going down this week for you. Tell me more about Gemini, please. We have the Six of Swords. Sorry, the Four of Swords, not the Six. We have Judgment. Look, this is a big week for a lot of, a lot of you. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. What the heck? We've got the Page of Wands, and we've got the King of Swords. Somebody's Somebody wants to speak with you, or you want to speak with someone else. Take it as it resonates for you. But we do have the King of Swords, and I think that's your energy. We have the Page of Wands, which tells me you want to send a message, and you are making the decision. Judgment is here. So you're making a decision. Maybe you don't realize it, Gemini, but when you decide to reach out to whomever you're going to reach out to, could be Virgo Pisces, could be uh, Aries Sagittarius Leo, could be Libra Gemini Aquarius or Sagittarius Energy. Whatever you decide to do, the Page of Wands being here, I feel like you are making a split-second decision. You're not going to plan it. You're just going to pick up the phone and reach out to someone and say hello. That's what it feels like here. And it's going to change your trajectory in this life. That, that's what the judgment is. It's like for some of you, you are going back around or asking for a second chance. Some of you want to have some sort of reconciliation. But I think that the judgment card is telling me that you are, are going to be the alchemist here. You're deciding to make a decision that is going to change everything. Tell me about the judgment card, please. What's this message? What is the message? Whoops. We do have the tower in reverse. Okay. So I feel like for a long time you've been putting off things, my friend. Gemini, I think that you have been trying to sidestep the tower. I feel like you're resistant to change. You've been resistant to do this. But I feel like you are going to be doing it this week. The tower is, in fact, going to fall. You can't put it off any further. There's the Emperor and Justice. Look, those two cards just came up in Aries reading. I don't know if you have anything to do with an Aries. But if you are the Emperor, possibly, whether you're feminine or masculine, we do have Aries and we have Libra energy here. So I feel like you've been putting off some things here. And some of the things you've been putting off is sending a message to somebody because you know it's going to change everything. Now, the reason I think that you're holding off is because of the King of Swords. It's like, I'm not really sure what to say. Um, this is somebody that I feel that you do want a long-term relationship with. I feel like you've been healing or been quiet, keeping to yourself. But I feel like after the moment of alchemy arrives here with the judgment card, there's no way you can ignore this. You will be sending a message this week to somebody. Not for all of you. This is a general reading. We do have the Ace of Moons. The Ace of Moons in this deck are cups. That's the Ace of Cups. I feel like you want to begin some sort of new beginning in love. And I feel like the reason that you've been holding back is because maybe you're in a long-term relationship and you know that you have to end all of that first before you can speak up or move forward. The Ace of Pentacles shows up. And then we have the Eight of Wands. So yes, it looks like you will be reaching out to somebody here. The Eight of Wands is telling me that you're taking your shot. And, um, you know, I feel like you've been avoiding the change up until now. And the Emperor might do that, right? It's a little bit of ego. The Emperor does have ego. I'm not doing that. You can't make me. You're not my real dad, right? And I feel like 
You just need justice. And so I feel like it is your decision with the judgment card to allow the tower to fall. But listen, when the tower and the judgment get together in any proximity in a reading for me, it's a major awakening. You are going to be shook down this week, Gemini. There's a major realization coming to you once this tower hits the upright. It's something that's been worrying you, my friend. You've been thinking about it on repeat. You can't get out of this loop about thinking about this tower's going to fall, this tower's going to fall, it's going to fall and things never will be the same as they ever were and you absolutely are correct. The devil energy is here lending fear and doubt and and you know all the things that that come with big huge change or revelations or really big realizations but it's all in the end going to come to balance. What are you going to say? Because I feel like I feel like there is a long-term relationship here that you are that you're getting rid of here we've got the ten of pentacles and the king of swords it feels like there is a a long-term relationship that you will be ending this week possibly or maybe this is telling somebody that you want the long-term relationship tell me what this is please got the death card something's coming to an end look i hate to be the grim reaper but the fact of the matter is we just went through an eclipse this energy will be with us for at least the next six months there's going to be a lot of changes going on and why not now <laughs> why not we have the seven of pentacles we have the uh three of wands i feel like you've been waiting for a really long time but what i think you cannot avoid is the three of wands and the death card what is arriving is the ending of something or some sort of transformation it's coming up on the king of swords and and the Ten of Pentacles, and it tells me that either a long-term relationship is ending or something is transforming because you're having some sort of a major realization. Tell me what the King of Swords wants to say to us, please. Tell me about Gemini's energy here. We do have the Nine of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Five of Swords. You're going to say it in the kindest and most loving way that you can, and what you're going to be saying is, we have some fundamental differences, we can't get over this mountain. I feel like that's what it is. The Nine of Wands tells me we're close to the end. We're very close to the end. And I feel like you're going to be as kind as possible about what you're going to say, but you definitely are using swords. I feel like you are, are planning to leave a situation because of personal differences, because of ego, because of disagreements. It feels like it's fundamental. It's like you won't follow them. They won't follow you. Um, somebody here has masculine energy. We could be dealing with two people who are very much in their masculine energy and nobody will follow the other one. That's what it feels like here. But I feel like there is something that is going to be ending for you. It sounds like you're going to try and do it in the most loving way possible. The King of Swords is here saying I need to be truthful and honest and absolutely factual with you. But the Queen of Cups bringing here softens the blow. And uh, something here you're going to tell this person, time's up, Nine of Wands. I feel like you're giving up is what you're doing. You're giving up. You're like putting your hands in the air and saying I can't do this with you anymore. I can't do this with you anymore. We've got um, the we've got Capricorn energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We've got Virgo. We've got more Scorpio, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We've got um, more Libra energy. We've got uh, Aries energy, Sagittarius energy. We've got the Tower, which is Scorpio. Uh, we have more Sagittarius energy, and we have Judgment, which is Virgo and Pisces. Take it as it resonates for you, my friend. All right, Cancer, here we go. Sneak peek for the single Cancer. Let's find out what's going on this week. Not for the weekend this time, it is for the week. Let's find out what's going on here. Sneak peek for the week for singles. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for Cancer. Cancer singles. Look, <laughs> the last three readings I just did, I don't know if you saw them at all. But they're pretty wild. Things are ending. New things are beginning. Things are resurrecting. Everything is a hot mess. It's very messy week. It's a very messy week. Let's find out what's going on for you, Cancer. We do have the Six of Cups. Why do we have the Six of Cups? For Cancer, please. Tell me about the Six of Cups. 
we have the Six of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So I want to say that um, it feels like you're stuck in nostalgia this week. That uh, the Six of Coins tells me that um, there's something back here that I feel like in the past you were getting reciprocity. For some of you, it could be about money. Maybe your money was going pretty well. The Six of Cups tells me you're remembering that. Whatever this Six of Pentacles represents here, it could be financial things for some of you. For others of you, it could be a person that you were giving reciprocity to, like our, our relationship was going good. It was very back and forth. Um, but it does feel like you are sidetracked. I want to say cancer that the the six of coins if we are talking about relationship the six of coins to me is yes i give you reciprocity when i'm talking to you but i got a whole bunch of other things going on cancer so i feel like you are thinking to the past about something here but you're about to take action on some of these memories here you're about to step forward king of king of wands is here and the king of wands of course is the one who is very inspired to step forward but only step forward when they're ready for um ready for something for some big change right so the the king of wands is always inspired by their passions and so i feel like you're making a step forward this week based on history of passion like you have history with somebody here who i feel is giving you um their attention but that you think that they might be giving more of their attention to other people than they're giving to you we do have the three of pentacles in the reverse we do have the knight of swords and we do have the queen of cups so there is somebody here. Yep, it does feel like it is the Queen of Cups, somebody who might be water like you, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. It feels like you are about to... I feel like you're about to show your feelings to someone, to show them that you're passionate about them, to show, to show your feelings to them. The Three of Pentacles is in the reverse, and it tells me that somebody is not putting a lot of energy into this. I don't know if it's you or them, but it feels like somebody here has not been putting a whole lot of energy into this reciprocity, and that's why you're in the Six of Cups. You're remembering a time when somebody was quite doting and loving and compassionate, and I feel like that's something that you do want to speak about. I feel like you want to say something, but I feel like it's in your memory, in your in your in your memories, that you have memories, good memories with this person. But I feel like this person is not giving you as much of their energy as they used to because the three of coins is in the reverse. Someone you feel like is not on your side. You're not really in cooperation or collaboration with this person. It feels like you feel that they that they are slipping away, maybe? That they're not giving you as much reciprocity as they used to. What do you want to say to this person? You could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, possibly. Tell me about the, um, the Knight of Swords. What does Cancer want to say? We've got the Ten of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Judgment card. We've got the Six of Wands, and we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. So I think what's happening here this week for you is I feel like you want to have a second chance with somebody. Um, judgment has now shown up in every hand uh, that I've done so far, and, and it's no different for you, Cancer. I feel like you do want to resurrect something or you want to have a second chance with someone. And I feel like the conversation goes something like this. I really like you. The Six of Wands tells me the other person gets a lot of attention. And the Queen of Swords tells me that they might be someone who is a speaker, someone who's interested in justice and honesty and truth. That could be that person. But they also are somebody who's going to be very honest with you. The Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Either you've had a relationship that is not worked out, or you're going to say to this person, look, I would love a second chance, but I'm not interested in a long-term relationship. And I think you're just going to be very honest. The Knight of Swords is, is more a little bit aggressive, right? Rebellious, courageous, brave, and is ready to seize the moment. And I think that's what you're going to do. You're going to wait for the right moment to say to this person, I'm not interested in a relationship, but I would like to try again. And I think you're doing it because you see that this person is getting a lot of attention from other people. 
Your person could be the uh, Queen of Swords, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but this is someone who is the divorcee. This is someone who is not scared of you. They will be honest right back to you. And uh, what is the Queen of Swords going to say to Cancer? We've got the Nine of Swords. We've got the Two of Swords and the King of Pentacles. I feel like you are probably dealing with someone who is either um, in Swords, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you're dealing with someone who's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person is, is not going to answer you back right away. I feel like this person is kind of stuck in their head with the Nine of Swords. It feels like there is an energy of not wanting to repeat a cycle. So I feel like you've already been through a cycle of romance with this person, romance, love, whatever it is. The King of Wands is here. It could be passion. Whenever I see the Three of Pentacles and the King of, of Wands, it's friends with benefits for me. It might not be true for all of you, right? It's a general reading. If that's not your piece, then please let it go. But I feel like you want to... Um, I feel like you're interested in the queen, but I feel like the queen is going to be really honest with you that they don't want to really get into this same situation with you that they were in with you before. The nine of swords is the repeat. I repeat it over and over and over again. Um, the queen of swords has a, a, a sword in the hand and the nine of swords is here. The end of a cycle. We need to stop lying to each other. We need to stop obsessively thinking and not speaking with each other. The two of swords is here. I feel like the person, if they are the king of pentacles here, this person works really hard. They're, um, they're someone who is always engaged in packing away their pentacles maybe you are very busy in your life but i feel like what is stopping this from going anywhere is this is that this person is blocking you because they are otherwise engaged in their pentacle world stacking their pentacles maybe building a business it feels like that so I feel like you're going to try and give this person some kind words. You're going to kindly deliver this message. You're going to throw it at them, but you're going to kindly deliver this message here. What is it that you're going to say? Because I don't think you really want to be friends with this person with the three of pentacles in the reverse. It feels like you want to work with them again, but are they interested? We have the Two of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords, and we have the Temperance. So you've been waiting for the right moment to tell them that you still have feelings for them. That you want to have a conversation about, will this grow? Will this grow? Can it grow without us getting into marriage, moving in? Like, it feels like you really have feelings for somebody, but you have no interest in getting into a a marriage of any kind with the with the uh, ten of cups in the reverse here tell me about uh, the ace of swords so i feel like you're going to ask for conversation i feel like that's what's happening this week we have the two of wands and we have the death card there's there needs to be some type of transformation for you i feel like you need to go down the right path and i think it's a passionate path that you're looking at and the seven of pentacles is telling me that you're holding yourself back from transformation because you don't know which path you want to go down so i feel like this week with the two of cups present and the ace of ace of swords that you are going to be very honest truthful and give somebody a lot of clarity about how you're feeling about them that you do have a lot of romantic emotional or maybe even love feelings for them but it feels like you're not interested in doing the traditional moving in you know living in this under the same roof kind of thing and for those of you who aren't aware for some of the people my age like I'm, I'm coming up 56 at the end of the month that seems ideal <laughs> For some people, we're kind of at this age where we're over it, right? I could be speaking about a couple who is who is uh, older, um, has a lot more wisdom, and has realized that marriage is not all all it's cracked up to be. Because it feels like there's a couple of people here who have been through been through that before and been down that road. Now, Cancer, I feel like you're worried that someone else is going to catch the attention of your person. So if you're going to say something, you might want to do that this week. So we do have the Ace of Swords, we have the Two of Cups, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, we have um, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, yeah, the Six of Wands tells me that your person gets a lot of attention, and I think you're going to need to say something if you want to have this second chance. We've got Virgo and Pisces here, uh, we have Scorpio energy, <coughs> Sagittarius energy, we have... Um, 
um, water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, we have the Knight of Swords, uh, King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be dealing with any of those energies. All right, let's get to it, Leo. What's coming up for you, Leo? This week, single Leo. Sneak peek for this week for you, single Leo. Let's find out what's going on for you. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo this week. Sneak peek for this week for Leo. We do have the King of Swords. Somebody is about to lay down the law. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're about to be very clear with somebody about what your needs are, what you've got to say, what the truth is. The honest truth, according to you, you're about to go over some facts and be very honest with somebody here. We have the King of Wands. It's somebody that you may have a lot of passion for. I feel like you you won't move forward and do anything unless you have this passion, like you're Leo, right? So you need to be really passionate about the situation, about the person, whatever it is, in order to even bother opening your mouth. And I want to say that the time is here. I feel like you're about to tell somebody something. Maybe that you have a lot of passion for them, possibly. You're very attracted to them, maybe. We do have uh, the the nine of cups oh maybe you feel like somebody is your wish fulfillment we have aries sagittarius leo we have uh, libra gemini aquarius energy we have wish fulfillment here happiness happiness being single for some of you um the nine of cups is that right nines are like i've built my happiness up to here all on my own maybe that's what you're going to say to somebody here um i do feel though that you're very attracted to someone here tell me more I feel like you're ready to step forward. Like the King of Wands, when they want something, is not going to let anything stand in their way. And you know that because you're Leo. You will have certain death before you will not get the thing that you want. And so I feel like you're going after whatever it is that you want. We have the, the Nine of Swords. We have the Moon Energy. And we have Judgment. All right, this is hand number five where judgment has come out now. So judgment in the moon tells me that you've already made a decision, but you're keeping it under wraps. That maybe you want to be single and happy, possibly. But also, um, I feel like what you don't see is maybe wish fulfillment, right? That if you do want something, wish fulfillment is here. But I think you just don't see it yet. I feel like you're kind of mulling over what you're going to say, how you're going to approach it. The moon energy tells me that things are not as they appear. So things are not as they appear for you um and i feel like you've been worrying about something and you want to bring the worry to to an end we've got nine of wands and we have one wand in your hand and the king i think this this energy these two kings i feel like are your energy so halfway to the emperor right it feels like these two kings are your energy and i feel like what you're worrying about is what if what if that person doesn't feel the same way? What if they don't feel like they're my wish fulfillment? What if they don't feel like I'm their wish fulfillment? It feels like you're about to make a decision and what you don't see is this decision that you're making here to bring some sort of a cycle of silence to an end or betrayal or whatever this is for the Ten of Swords for you. Now look, the Ten of Swords is a terrible place to be. It's silence, it's it's sadness, it's like it's never happy when you know someone gets betrayed or feels like it's the end of something but it also is a release the 10 coming here the 10 arriving means that you're going to the ace which is you know yet released then to a new cycle so i feel like you want to resurrect something or you want to possibly um have some sort of reconciliation with someone here tell me what it is that you want to say i feel like you don't know what to say because you're not sure of the situation that you're walking into the king of swords and um the moon and the nine of cups tells me you're not really sure if this person feels the same way you do we've got the page of wands we've got the four of wands and we've got the king of cups there's the third king the only one we're missing now is the king of pentacles so we do have um the king of cups and the four of 
swords. It, it does feel to me like there's been little to no communication between you and somebody else. Um, and don't get uh, confused by the, the men that are on these uh, kings, right? Because everybody has feminine and masculine energy. I could be talking about you as a feminine as well because all of these masculines also have feminine energy. I feel like you're ready to send a, 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 some sort of a message. I feel like it's an exciting message and it's been someone that you've been in intermittent communication with. I feel like you're going to tell them about your feelings. I feel like with the king of swords here with this sword in the air and the this king here is telling me that you're about to show your feelings to someone and um tell me about this uh judgment because this decision you're making is going to change your life that's what decision making with the judgment card is um yeah you've decided you want this because we've got the seven of cups in the reverse we have the nine of pentacles here And we have the Nine of Cups. It feels like you want wish fulfillment, but you're unsure about whether or not you want to be single anymore. Like I, I'm looking at the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. When the Seven of Cups is in the reverse, I'm no longer confused. I'm no longer looking at it through rosy colored glasses. I've made a decision. And the decision might be to share your abundance with someone here. We do have the chariot. I feel like this person might live at a distance from you, but I feel like you can get to them through like getting in your vehicle. But we do have the chariot here and the chariot tells me that you're racing to the victory. And so you've made a decision already. I feel like this is the week where you tell this person that you've made this decision. I feel like in the past that this connection could have been based in passion only. And that might be why we have the nine of wands, sorry, the nine of swords and the king of wands um, because there's worry about this if I step forward with my passion is this person even going to talk to me I need to end this cycle of making this person think that all I want from them is 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 the happiness of the flesh so I feel like you are going to be honest with somebody and say look maybe we started on the wrong foot I really do have feelings for you and I'm not really sure if you're my wish fulfillment because the moon is here but I do want to have a resurrection like I do want to resurrect this thing and maybe have a reconciliation to see if we can make it work because now I've decided to choose you and I do want to race to the victory here. So I do feel like there was a connection that started in fire only and I think that somebody here wasn't down for it. We've got a uh, cancer energy here we've got uh, scorpio pisces cancer energy we've got uh, leo virgo pisces uh, cancer energy here aries sagittarius leo libra gemini and aquarius energy it's a week of big decisions <laughs> for everybody that's what it feels like here it's a very big decision week for everybody all right virgo this is you Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Virgo. Single Virgo. What's coming up for your week this week? Single Virgo. Tell me about the single Virgo. Sneak peek for this week. Single Virgo. We have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. We have the judgment. There it is. <laughs> We're six for six so far. Judgment's coming out in every hand. We are in retrograde. Right? We will be there till the 25th of April. And then we have the outro for two weeks. So we're still going to be in retrograded energy around about the first and halfway through the second week of May. Tell me more about, about Virgo, please. Virgo, I think there is a queen of wands who you feel is your wish fulfillment. Someone who makes you very happy, emotionally, emotionally happy. And this queen of wands could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. They could have that in their chart. You could have it in yours. Take it as it resonates. But we do have judgment here, which is your energy. I've got Virgo and Pisces. I feel like you're really checking with the self, looking at looking at yourself in the mirror. Maybe you're blaming yourself for a few things here yeah, with the mirror being here. Um, you could be mirroring this Queen of Wands energy as well. It, I feel like you're about to make some sort of a really big decision after looking in the mirror and really having a heart-to-heart -heart with the self. Maybe you're not doing it literally, but you know what I mean. You can see somebody pointing at the mirror and the mirror is pointing back. So it does feel like you're about to have some sort of a, or maybe you already have had um, this talk with yourself about what you want to do. 
I feel like you want to resume things or have some sort of a reconciliation with the Queen of Wands. We do have the Sun. That's exactly what you want. We have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with someone who's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have Leo energy here. We have Virgo and Pisces. I feel like you're disconnected from your happiness and I feel like your happiness lies with the Queen. Um, feminine or masculine, take it as it resonates for you. I feel like you see the situation for what it really is. This mirror you're holding up to yourself has given you some great clarity about what you want to do next. I feel like you want to repair things, heal things. Everything grows under the sun. I feel like you're in a place where you are, you are ready to grow. And I feel like you want to grow with, with the queen. And I feel like this is one person. I don't feel like it's two. It feels like, um, it feels like there is somebody here who is, uh, very financially stable, but also very much an overgiver, someone who is kind and loving and doting, but also very fiery, passionate, does their own thing. You can't tell them what to do. They're going to do their own thing. I feel like you are disconnected from your wish fulfillment or the wish fulfillment feels like it's a bit in poverty. Tell me why this is. Because the Wheel of Fortune... We've got the uh, Four of Swords in the reverse, and we do have the Magician. I feel like you think it will take an act of magic to be able to communicate with this person again, because the Four of Swords tells me it's been intermittent to no communication, or we've been quiet with each other while the healing is taking place, and now it feels like you want to reconnect. You want to speak to someone again, and um, I'm hearing in my head, you can do magic. You can do anything that you desire, magic. I think that's a song from long ago in the 70s, I think, right? You're the one who can who can put out the fire. You know darn well when you cast a spell. Oh, okay, maybe somebody's doing that. Um, um, that you get your way. I don't know what all the other lyrics are. Anyways, I'm hearing it, and I, I, I don't know, is it ELO, or I don't know who sings it, but um, yeah, I'm hearing that in my head. So the Wheel of Fortune is here. The Five of Pentacles is here. I feel like if you're about to reconnect with the Queen, I feel like this Queen will allow you an audience with them. They will speak with you, um, because the Wheel of Fortune is here, because things are about to change. So if you've been on the outside looking in of the Queen's life, I feel like the Queen is about to let you in to speak with you a little bit, and it, it, it's like it's like a an act of magic. I want to say with the magician here, it's like you you work your magic, your magic words, and this person lets you back into their life here. Tell me about the, the Queen of Pentacles, because I feel like you really see this, this person for who they really are. You see them as very independent, and they don't need you, and they're very much about their pentacles. They are stable and grounded and sturdy, but they can go rogue at any moment. Tell me about um, the Queen here. You see this person for who they are. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Moon energy, and we do have the uh, Seven of Pentacles. So you've been waiting a really long time for the right moment. The Moon tells me that you don't really know what's going on in the life of the Queen right now, that you things are not as they seem, that you really don't know what's going on, you can't really see through the darkness. The Four of Pentacles tells me that's why you've been quiet, you've been holding on to the hope that you'll wait for the right moment and you'll know when it's the right time is the go time. Tell me about the judgment here that you're making. Because you're making this judgment under very clear circumstances. You know exactly what you want here. We have the lovers. There we go. The lovers, the page of cups, and the nine of swords. So I feel like what you've been obsessively thinking about, it's like interrupting your sleep. You can't sleep at night. Thinking about the queen. And I feel like what you're going to do is you're going to send some sort of a loving and kind message to the queen. The page of cups is here. It's sweet. It's puppy love. It's uh, butterflies in the belly kind of love. Um, then we have the lovers. You know that this person is a very deep connection for you because you can't let go of them. And I think you're about to make a decision that is going to um, that is going to be very honest and truthful and you're going to relay that to the queen. What's the queen going to say? The queen's ready. The queen is ready to take a leap of faith with you. You've been taking your time, right? We have the knight of swords here. Um, you've been taking your time, I feel, but it's time for things to pick up. And uh, we have the hanged one here. You've been sort of 
hanging here wondering what to say. It's like, I don't really know what to say, but I want something new with the queen. I feel like you're going to get your new beginning with the queen if you want it, but I do feel like you really need to think about what you're going to say. This person doesn't need you, Virgo. So whether you are the feminine or the masculine, you're represented here. I feel like things are about to change. You're about to reconnect to this person. It's going to make you very happy. And I feel like you've got the magic words. You can do magic. You can do anything that you desire. Magic. I feel like you have the magic that you need in order to talk the queen into giving you a chance, another chance, in fact. The, the, the judgment is here. I feel like this is your last chance. I want to say that you're like, I'm going to give one more shot to the queen. And then after that, six of swords, I'm going to be out. If this person says no, then I'm just going to toddle along. Yeah. All right. I've got Aries. Uh, Gemini energy. We've got Pisces. We've got more Aries energy. We've got Cancer and Pisces. We've got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, who is... Uh, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, my brain shut off. Did you hear it? <laughs> Click. Okay. And then we have the lovers, who is Gemini. We have the sun, that is Leo. We have judgment, which is Virgo and Pisces. And then we have the queen of wands, which is Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. All right, Virgo. All right, Libra. I'm not going to forget you this time. <laughs> Here we go, Libra. Let's find out what's going on with you, single Libra. This is your sneak peek for this week, my friend. It's a big week. Lots of crazy transits going on. Especially if you have Pisces, Taurus, or uh, Aries in the chart. Tell me what's coming up for Libra, please. This week, sneak peek for this week for the single Libra, please. Single Libra. We have the Nine of Swords. Something that you have been worrying about. What have you been worrying about, my friend? Worrying about maybe you've held back too long here. It feels like you're trying to find the courage to say something to someone. Whatever it is that you've been thinking about or overthinking or not being able to sleep because you're thinking about it, you want to share your feelings with someone here. There is someone that you're quite serious about, and I feel like you're worried that this person won't take your advances. I feel like with the, the strength card that you've been holding back up till now, saying something because you don't know how to say it, the Nine of Swords is worry. I'm worried about how to say it. How is it going to land if I tell this person that I've been trying to find the courage for a really long time to tell them that I'm either in love with them or that I would like to start a relationship. For some of you, I feel like you're giving someone the I love you um, this week. That's what it feels like. If, um, if you've just started maybe dating somebody here, and uh, maybe you're fallen, you've fallen in love, but you're worried that this person's not going to take it the right way, could be dealing with a Leo. We do have the Page of Wands. Yeah, so it is a messenger. You are telling someone that you have deep romantic feelings for them and that you feel like it's turning into love. We have two cups here and one in the hand of the night, which tells me that you want to have a reunion with this person or you want to ask them out or take them out. I feel this is the invitation and it feels like you're trying to gather the, the courage here to, um, to, to give somebody an invitation. And I think that when you take them out, I think that's when you, you're going to play it by ear. You're, you're not going to make a decision to go in and say it, you know, at, at four o'clock on a Friday. Do you know what I mean? I feel like with the nine of, of swords here, it feels like you're going to wait for the right moment. That you kind of worry about that, but you're going to wait for the right moment. I feel like what you're doing this week, though, is you want to secure the date or you want to secure uh, the time out with this person with the three of cups being here. First of all, I think you're worried that they're not going to accept your invitation, but I feel like you're going to send the invitation. Nonetheless, the Page of Wands is here. And then we have the World card. So we do have something that will be a great milestone. So if you are somebody who has been dating, but you're still single, I feel like if you have been dating somebody, that this is like the week where you say to them, can we maybe not see other people for a little bit and see if this works? It feels like you have fallen in love with someone that you do have romantic feelings. And with the World card here, it makes me feel like 
You thought this would never happen, that you thought you would never fall in love again. This is a milestone or an achievement. And what you're doing is you're closing the door on some sort of an old chapter and you're moving forward in a new chapter and it's taken you years. It might have taken you years. I feel like in the future, though, you're wondering, like, am I doing the right thing? Is it really worth the work I'm going to put in? Am I doing the right thing? Yeah, that's the question that's on your mind. Am I doing the right thing? I feel like, again, this is someone that you're reconnecting with here. We do have the judgment card. This is now um, six for six. The judgment has shown up in all of the readings I've done up to here. I feel like you have been quiet or have been healing or haven't been speaking with this person. You likely have been watching them for a long while. And it uh, feels like with the judgment card here that you're about to make a really big decision about some sort of reconciliation or you want to resurrect something with someone here. So maybe you are single. Maybe you two are not speaking to each other and that might be why the Nine of Swords is here. You're really worried about how this is going to go down because there has been a disconnect. But the Four of Swords in the reverse tells me that you want to reconnect. It does tell me here with the Seven of Cups though that you're very confused and overwhelmed because there is sadness in the past. And so we do have the Five of Wands which is telling me that you are holding back or reserving, you know, it feels like you're you're reserving judgment, um, re reserving the judgment here, like you're you're kind of holding back, dragging your heels in indecision. But we do have two fives here, and for me as a reader, when more than one five shows up, it's quick change. This is a a short term place that you're in, and then you finally ask somebody um, what they what they want to do. Let's talk about that just a little bit. What is the chapter that you've just closed here? Tell me about this chapter. Or maybe you're going to ask this person, look, this could be the, the question of, can you start seeing me to the exclusion of everybody else? You might be sending a message or asking this person, can you close the chapter from back there? Like, can you close all the other chapters you've had here? Tell me about the world card. We do have the Knight of Swords, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you want to stop worrying about competition. You also want to stop worrying about um, everybody giving your person a lot of attention. I feel like um, that's something that you want to talk about, right? Because it's coming up in the World card, and before I threw these three cards, I was feeling like this is the card that tells me that the conversation you're going to have with the Knight of Swords is you're just going to kind of blurt it out and say, look, can we not see other people? So although I feel like you're single at this time, I think like you you are moving forward and wanting to not be single. We have the Ten of Wands, which tells me that this has been something that you've been wanting to do, but you've been heavy laden, like feeling like it's not, not going to work out and you know you've been carrying you feel like it's not going to work out this person's not going to want to do it we do have two wands if you see here the two wands here um, are ready to hit the ground so I'm going to say that it's about time we made a decision to move forward here uh, the six of wands of course is someone cheering you on or this is your person getting a lot of attention they're probably very good looking and very charismatic they might even be on a on a platform somewhere right getting attention that way but um, I feel like you want to talk about that with this person and you need to drop these burdens here. Tell me about this Three of Cups here because I feel like you are going to ask this person out. Yep, that's where the judgment comes. That's your big decision, my friend. You're going to ask for us either, for some of you, it's going to be a second chance, not all of you. For others of you, it's a decision that you're making to ask this person out. Maybe you've asked them out before. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Death card. So it feels like you're ready to put in a little bit of energy. A little bit of energy, take them out, buy them coffee, nothing huge, maybe a walk in the park or a picnic, you know what I mean? And it feels like this is going to transformate, transform everything. If you take the time to do this, even put in a little bit of effort, it's going to transform everything. I think what you want to tell this person is, can we stop just giving each other little bits and pieces of ourselves? Can we go all in? Yeah, can we just stop the, yeah, I feel like the star is the all in. Oh, you know what you got, right? <laughs> you might be following an empress around, right? Whether you're feminine or masculine, you could be a feminine or masculine empress. Um, but it does feel like we are dealing with someone who is who is an empress, somebody who it, you see their value, uh, someone you see as the star, they light up a room, they're very intelligent, they're very connected to source, they have the third eye open. It feels like you are not wanting to juggle this person with other people anymore. You're not wanting this person to juggle any other people.
So I think that you've been waiting or finding the courage to move forward here with the Two of Wands. Make the decision. The Two Wands is the, the Two Wands are falling out here. So I feel like you're about to make a decision of trying to settle down with somebody here. The King of Cups says, I want to tell somebody that I'm here for protection, for love. I'm going to show them how deep I can be talking about the sun, the moon, the stars, and not just cell phone coverage, right? Um, I feel like uh, that you are getting very deep and solid with this person. I feel like you do want to settle, settle down. I feel like you want to settle down with this person in love. All right. What are we talking about here? Could be talking about Libra or Taurus. We've got Aquarius here. We've got Scorpio. We've got um, Leo here. We also have Virgo and Pisces. Scorpio, um, uh, Cancer, and Pisces energy. Uh, we do have Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We have more Leo energy. And we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take it as it resonates for you, Libra. All right, Scorpio. This is you, my friend. Single Scorpio. Let's talk about it. It's coming up in this week. This is the sneak peek for this week, Scorpio. Sneak peek for this week for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the single Scorpio. Tell me about single Scorpio, please. Something that you're going to have to make a decision about that you've been holding off. It feels like you don't want to get hurt or you don't see the situation for what it is. The Two of Swords tells me you're kind of in a block, a blocked sort of situation here. Tell me what this is. For Scorpio, we have the Ten of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me. So it feels like you are... Hmm, you know what? It feels like you do want this happiness, okay? It feels like what you want is the Ten of Cups. You want it, but you're not sure of it. You want it, but you're blocking yourself from it. You're blocking your own happiness, my friend. I feel like the happiness is trying to find you, but you're blocking it because you're not making a decision about something. That's about to change. Something is about to change here. You could be dealing with Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo energy. We do have the uh, High Priestess here. We have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You're wondering if you really want to put that much energy into a relationship. That's what it feels like here. You're looking at a situation that intuitively you feel could be happiness. Psychic intuition is what is here with the High Priestess. And so you've been very quiet about the decision that you're about to make and you haven't made it yet. In fact, I don't know if you make it this week. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is telling me that you're, I, you're maybe thinking about the reason that you're blocked is you're thinking about, do I really want to put effort into another relationship in order like to just get hurt again? I'm not really sure if that's what I want to do. We do have the Page of Pentacles, but I think you might give it a shot. I think you might put in a little bit of effort. The thing is this, is I feel like you've really worked hard on yourself, and you're not about to throw your pearls before swine, right? You're not about to, after working this hard on yourself, you're not about to jump into some relationship where some feminine or masculine is going to dismantle all of that and tell you where to be, how to do it, when to be there, morning and night text. Like, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who doesn't really want to get into... A relationship with someone who's going to put restrictions on them. I feel like the Seven of Pentacles being in the reverse is telling me that you really don't want to wait anymore. But you're also wondering, is it worth it? Is it worth the time I'm going to put in? I'm not really sure. So uh, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Something here is about to change. And um, it feels like it is faded changes. Something is about to change here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, the Tower. Why is that? We do have the Two of Wands. And we have the King of Wands. Okay. So, you know, the Tower is here. When the Tower comes up with the Wheel of Fortune for me, the reason that the Tower is falling is because you have to move forward. You don't have a choice in this. It feels like something else is in the background or in the past, or you have thoughts of the past, worrying about it. You don't want to be hurt, right? It feels like you, you're, you're, 
you're wanting to move forward, but you're not really sure how you're going to do that. Um, the Page of Pentacles is telling me that you want to put in a little bit of effort. Maybe you'll talk to this person after being in silence with them for a while, but you won't let them know what your MO is. And I feel like what the end game is for you is you are looking ultimately for emotional happiness, like the apex of emotional happiness, a relationship, being in a home with with a family that might be yours. And I feel like that's that's really what you're coming to like the realization you're coming to but i feel like with the when the tower shows up at the wheel of fortune it's a major change it's a major change so i want to say that if you are somebody who has been scared that you're going to get hurt i feel like you're about to change your mind in the biggest way and the two of wands is telling me that you're about to make a choice and the choice is to step forward and be and go with your passions. I feel like you're going to go with the passions of your heart. Tell me about the Two of Swords. We've got the Page of Wands. We've got the Hermit. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So here you are dragging your heels, right? It's like, and I, I don't mean that in, in a derogatory way. I mean like the reason that you've been, been slow or patient or holding back a little bit or being very careful is because you've been in, in the Hermit energy. So you've been thinking about it, gaining wisdom, figuring it out. Do I really want to do this? But in doing so, you're sending in energy to the universe telling them that you're ready. You're ready for change. And that's why the universe throws this these these universal cards which are the major arcana which is the wheel of fortune in the tower so we do have the page of wands and i want to say that while you're in hermit mode you're thinking do i reach out do i send a message i feel like you might be dealing with someone from the past because the page is looking into the past this page of wands the one who is bringing the message in the 3d i feel like you want to see somebody face to face that you're not going to send a text but that maybe you um you're not going to send a text and say to them, "Look," and, and give them everything in text. That's not what you're saying. What, what not what you're doing? Because the high priestess is here, and I feel like you wouldn't do that. You've been silent with them, and you want to see them face to face. How are you going to do that, though? Right? I feel like the tower is going to be your help. It's going to pull you out of this energy of you being in the two of swords, and everything here indicates that everything is moving super slow, except this page. Tell me about the uh, high priestess, please. Why have you been so silent? The star, you've been trying to make a decision about your wish fulfillment. You've been keeping everything under the surface because you're entirely unsure about who you're dealing with here. We do have the Empress here, and I want to say that you're not feeling real abundant. You don't feel like the universe is on your side. That's what it feels like here. For some of you, I want to say that maybe you're worried that you're dealing with um, the Empress in reverse. Now, the Empress in the reverse is somebody who is, who is not connected to the source or who has the ability to connect whenever they want but they're not doing it they're not very mindful this person looks great on the outside but they got one marble rolling around on the inside right there they don't care about you they're quite egoic they this is someone who will have children with you but isn't a very great mother or father this is a person who is willing to to say yeah yeah sure yeah yeah sure let's do it but when it comes down to it this person is the empress in the reverse and i think that's what you are trying to avoid <laughs> That's what it feels like. You want wish fulfillment, but you've been silent because what you're trying to avoid is getting yourself in a trap with someone who looks like one thing from a distance, but ends up looking like something else when you get up close. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? We do have the Five of Wands. We've got the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So I, I do feel like you don't want to wait anymore, that it's the end of the waiting period. Um, and I feel like with the Five of Wands, it's telling me that you're still in a bit of indecision. So you might not do it this week, but it feels like the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune are showing up this week with the Seven of Pentacles, which tells me that you have decided you don't want to wait anymore and you sent that energy to the universe and now here comes the change. Big change, like permanent change so you are deciding making a decision making a decision to go out um, and have some sort of an adventure here the passions of your heart to be fulfilled it's the end of the waiting game for you my friend we do have the eight of cups and the four of wands i feel like you're leaving something in the past and that's why we're coming up with the two of swords here right um, because you're leaving something in the past you've disconnected from some type of relationship or maybe you were living with someone and in some type of relationship here yeah uh, yeah, there's going to be a conversation, all right. And there's the judgment card. Look, we are 
showing the judgment card has been coming up in every reading. There's the judgment card. You are making a big decision to, to, to speak with this person face-to-face -face in the pentacle world here, in the 3D. Face-to-face -face conversation with this person to ask them, what they want to do. What's next? Because I feel like you're after your Ten of Cups, but you've been very silent with somebody, not telling them your actual plan. Um, we do have Virgo energy here. Uh, we do have um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Libra, and uh, Taurus. Uh, we do have the we have Scorpio energy here, of course. We have Virgo energy. Uh, we do have Aquarius energy. We've got Pisces. We've got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. More Aquarius. Lots of Aquarian energy. So it feels like there is going to be some sort of communication happening uh, this week. But I think that if it does happen, you're the one who initiates the communication. So it is all up to you. And let's talk about uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, if you're interested in a private read, I keep forgetting to say it to, to all the other signs, please look uh, below this video at the top of the comments. I've pinned what you need there to get a private read if you're interested in that. Tell me about the single Sagittarius. What's coming up this week, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sneak peek for this week for the single Sagittarius. Sagittarius, there is the Five of Cups. I feel like you're... You're in regret or just feeling down or sad about something here. You feel like it's over. Like you feel like you feel like you're never going to find happiness again. Yeah. That's what it feels like here. That you're sad about like you're emotionally sad. It's like no matter what you do, it feels like it feels like you're your in emotional regret like it feels like you are wondering if if it's ever going to show up for you for some of you it could be that you've been feeling this way since your divorce we do have the the queen of swords here and um, the queen of swords is the divorcee it's the person who is speaking their mind standing up for themselves liberating themselves we do have the um the uh the star so it is about wish fulfillment i feel like sagittarius i'm connecting with a sagittarius who feels as though they've they don't have any other chances left it feels like with the queen looking into the past the queen i feel like you've cut out some people i want to say that you are single by choice that you're the person who has who has cut out a relationship or cut someone out back there and i feel like although you're regretting it and you're sad you you are looking forward to the hope of having some sort of a wish fulfillment show up here i feel like you know the star always shows up after the tower and i think that you've you know because it's card 17 and the tower is 16 it shows up after the tower i feel like you've been through some type of an emotional tower where you cut somebody that you had feelings for out of your life because I don't know that they were treating you right to be honest I feel like you're looking into the future with this energy of you know what I could probably just wait for my wish fulfillment you don't want to be sad anymore I feel like there was a hard conversation you had with someone and you ended up cutting them out because they weren't giving you what you wanted. We do have the death card in the reverse. We have the three of pentacles. So the death card in the reverse tells me that somebody here was, was avoiding transformation. They were avoiding change. I feel like somebody had you on the line, Sag. Like somebody is avoiding change. You thought for sure that they were going to come back and things were going to work out. And I think I talked about this last week in some of the readings that I did. It's like when we are waiting on a wish fulfillment to show up, we can sometimes romanticize it, right? We go through our mind and the Queen of Swords is here thinking about when that person comes back, they're going to be changed. They're going to want to love me. We're going to ride off into the sunset together. And sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Sometimes the manifestation does show up and you decide that you don't want it. You're like, no, you haven't changed. You're avoiding change. And I regretfully have to cut you out of my life. Now, I don't think that you cut them out completely. I feel like you, um, that you are still speaking with them as a friend here. The Three of Pentacles is showing up. And so that this person is maybe someone who is good in business with you. Or they are someone who is, you know, that would be 
on your team. They're the person you can call at three in the morning to ask to pick you up because your car has failed. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels like you can count on this person in the pentacle world, but I don't think you can count on them emotionally. And that's what this five of cups is about here. Because this person refuses to change how they act toward you emotionally. And that's why you had to become the queen of swords, Sagittarius. And you had to say, look, if you're not going to change, then I just got to cut things out completely. And, and you had to shove them in the, in the friend zone. That's what it feels like here. Queen of Wands. There you are, Sagittarius. Yeah, this is also Aries and Leo energy, but Sagittarius, that's your energy. I feel like that's what you did. I feel like you told somebody, look, I know my worth. I feel like this is both your energy. I feel like you're saying to this person, look, I know my worth. And if you're not willing to change, I regret, regretfully got to cut you out. And that's what the queen would do. The queen would be very honest and truthful and not really hurtful, but be very, you know, not aggressive, but very honest and, um, um, and uh, assertive, right? I just need to tell you what I need to tell you because I need to go over the facts and the facts are this. You won't give me anything emotionally. You're ready to be on my team if my car breaks down, but you're not really willing to give me anything else. And I'm the queen of wands. I need passion. I need a path. I need to, you know, I need to go get something like you. You're ready to go, but I feel like this person is not willing to change. And so if you haven't cut them out already, I feel like you're ready to cut them out. Um, I feel like you've cut them out already because we are looking at a singles read, right? And, and I feel like you cut them out because they weren't willing to change. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords and the Strength card. Someone is clearly blocking abundance. This person won't change, Sag. You're the one who's willing to change and grow and learn things. And I feel like the person you were with was not willing to change. The Ten of Pentacles is here next to the Two of Swords. That's blocking abundance, right? And then we have the strength here because this person it doesn't have any courage. Again, the strength points into the, into the past. This person couldn't find the courage to love. And so you had to cut them out. And I feel like that's why you're single. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Yeah, it feels like this person was lying to you or you felt like they weren't being honest about their feelings. And so you just brought it up and you said, look, we need to start over again. The Page of Pentacles is here. We need to get together and talk about this uh, with the Knight of Swords here. I feel like I feel like what you did is you charged in on them and you just said, look, now, right now is the time we're talking about this. You may have, they may have come to your house for a different reason and you're like, nope, sit down. We're having a conversation today. So tell me what the wish fulfillment that's coming in the future for Sagittarius, please. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Seven of Wands. And it's the truth. Look, the person who is your person, the wish fulfillment that's for you, the relationship that is for you, you're going to know is the Ten of Cups, and you're going to know it right off. And the Seven of Wands being in the reverse tells me this is going to be a person you don't have to be all boundaried up with. This is a person where you can kind of let the boundaries down a little bit. You don't have to... Um, keep them at arm's length. This person is going to pursue you. I feel like the Ten of Cups is here and your realization with the Page of Swords is the Ten of Cups is, is going to find me. My wish fulfillment will find me, but I feel like I need to be a little more open or a little more available. I feel like um, you're going to do that. I feel like you might continue to be friends with the person that you've cut out. We have Justice, we have the World, and we have the Three of Cups. So I just want to say, like, you need to know that Justice is here. You will get Justice. This is, you should look at this more as an advantage, as a milestone or an achievement that you held your boundaries. You held your boundaries with somebody who wasn't treating you right, Sag. And that tells the universe, I know my worth. And that's why you're showing up as these two queens here. The world card here tells me you close the door. You're closing the door on that. I need my balance. This is a milestone and I'm going to celebrate it. I'm going to celebrate that I know my worth and I'm never going to get, you know, the world card is literally that. It is that. It's like closing a chapter. I'm never letting anyone take advantage of me like this person took advantage of me. We do have temperance. There you are. You show up your own reading here, temperance. It's the moment of alchemy. You are making a decision, my friend, to just say no. No thanks. Nope. No thanks, Tom Hanks. Here we go. We've got Libra. We've got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. More Libra energy. 
Uh, we've got Aquarius energy, Gemini energy. We have uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We've got Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we do have more Aquarius energy. Good for you, Sag. Good for you. It may not feel good at first, but I'm telling you, you're going to be blessed for it. All right. Let's talk about Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn. Sneak peek for this week for the Capricorn singles, please. Tell me about single Capricorn this week. We've got the Moon card. Something is not as it seems here, Capricorn. We've got the Strength card, and therefore you are holding back just a bit. It feels like you are holding back because something isn't as it seems and your intuition is going off here. You could have Pisces or Cancer in your chart. We've got the Seven of Cups. You're trying to make some sort of decision that's very overwhelming. It's an overwhelming emotional decision, but you're holding back making that decision because you're not entirely sure about what's going on here. We've got uh, the Four of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Justice. So you want justice and love, and you're trying to pick the right person. Um, it feels like you are, um, uh, of course, this is a singles read, so you're not dating as, uh, or maybe you're dating, but you haven't committed to anybody at this point. But I feel like you want justice and love, but you're not sure how to get there. It feels mysterious to you. It feels like it's underground or underwater or things aren't as they seem. I want to say things are actually closer than they appear, but I feel like with this, um, with this uh, Leo energy here that you are trying to find the courage to be vulnerable with somebody, but you're not not exactly sure if you want to do that, if you're up for that. Because any other time that you've offered your Ace of Cups, it turns into this mess, this messy business of the Seven of Cups. And then you have to make a decision about what you're going to do emotionally, and you get really overwhelmed about it. You really get overwhelmed, and you're not really sure about what decision to make. So what is it that that you are unsure of. Tell me about the moon energy here. Something is hiding. Something is lurking under the surface. And it might be true and it might just be how you feel because you've been hurt in the past. I feel like you're holding everything close to the chest and you're not really giving someone all of you. I feel like you're shut off, shut down, and you kind of want some justice from them. You want to see that Ace of Cups before you start making emotional decisions here. We've got the Sun, we've got the Four of Cups, and we have the Page of Wands. Now, when I see the Sun and the Moon come out together, to me it's cooperation, because the Moon does not have its own, its own light, right? It depends on the Sun to illuminate it so it can be seen. And so... I feel like also when I see the sun and the moon, it's like something changes overnight. It goes from dark to light. It goes from night to day. So I want to say with the four of cups here, you go from, from wondering what I should do to getting some sort of an inspired download here that that it feels like you're date you're in the dating pool here. That's the celebration, the fun. Maybe you're going out a lot, being social, but you're not accepting any cups here. And then a cup shows up. So I want to say that your thought pattern changes overnight from night to day. And then we have the page of wands. You pick up somebody who's decided that they're going to communicate with you. It feels like there is somebody who's pretty excited to meet you. Tell me about the seven of cups, please. We have the uh, Nine of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Hanged Man. So, yeah, I feel like you're about to make some type of decision here. It feels like you're about to meet somebody new, for, for starters. I feel like your life is going to, your love life, or your emotional love life, is going to go from night to day. It's going to change really quick, probably within this week, and it feels like you're going to meet someone out in a social area. But you are going to essentially keep them at arm's length and say, you know what, I'm just, yeah, I'm not taking aces of cups right now. 
but I think this person's going to pursue you hard. I feel like this person is going to be younger than you. Um, uh, but the Page of Wands tells me that they're quite excited to meet you. And this person also has love on the mind. I feel like that they are looking to settle down with somebody here. Um, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Hanged Man tells me that when this person connects with you, because they're probably going to ask for your number, you're probably going to give it grudgingly because you're not looking for a relationship at this time. But it feels like you are super happy when this person connects with you. However, it puts you up in your head, right? You start trying to see this romantic situation from the other person's side. Your person could be a Libra. Um, maybe they would be a Pisces, a Cancer, or um, um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, possibly Leo, because um, we do have the Sun here as well, Pisces, Cancer, yeah. And so it feels like um, it feels like you you're you're confused. Right? You're kind of confused, overwhelmed emotionally. This person really wants to give you a cup and you're not sure if this is going to be wish fulfillment or what it is. Now, the Nine of Cups is here and so that does tell me wish, wish fulfillment, but the Seven of Cups is here which tells me that it's confusing. You don't know how to feel about it. This person's coming on strong with romance and you're trying to see it from their side. You're not really sure what you want here because what you're looking at is you're not looking at passion, right? This person might be um, looking for just that. They might be looking for just passion. It may lead into love. It may lead into a love situation, but I think that you've been in this place before where you've been dealing with the Page of Wands and the Page of Wands just throws the wand in the air and lets it go here, there, and everywhere. They're sharing their fun, their flirtation, you know, they're they're sharing it with everybody. And so maybe you saw this person doing that and you're unsure about whether or not you want to be with them or not. Tell me about this justice and love here. I feel like it turns out for you, I want to say. Um, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of Cups. You guys end up having a lot in common. I feel like you have a lot in your past. You, a, a lot of things have gone on in your past. I feel like you have in common with this person. Um, they're very attracted to you. And I feel like you you uh, are deciding here that you will make a decision in the future here that that this might be a milestone that you needed. That maybe this person does feel like someone you've known forever because I feel like you two have the same the same sort of um, history, like not with each other, but it feels like you you two have um, a lot of stuff in the past that's the same. Yeah. So I feel like. I feel like with the Queen of Wands energy here that you do get you do get your justice in passion. But it's Queen of Wands passion. It's not Page of Wands passion. I feel like they came at you as the, they come at you as the Page of Wands uh, because they're not entirely sure if you're into it or not. But I think you quickly realize that they are the Queen of Wands, feminine or masculine. They are someone who is actually quite responsible with their passion. And they don't just want a passionate relationship with you. person is also very financially stable. Um, it feels like they are very exciting. They like to travel. This person loves adventure and um, they are also looking for a commitment. So this person I feel is someone who you think is juggling people um, and they could be when they first meet you. Look, we're not going to meet single people who aren't juggling and that's the truth of it. Everybody's out there looking for a spouse, looking for, you know, a friend, looking for whatever they're looking for. And if you think that someone's going to date you, take you on one date and then drop everybody else, you're delusional. It's, it's, you know, somebody is juggling a lot of people and I'm going to say they're juggling a lot of people, dating a lot of people because they're looking for who they're going to settle down with. And of course, that's you, right? That's your energy, the Queen of Pentacles. So they're looking for who they're going to settle down with. And I'm going to say if they are juggling a lot of people, they're keeping a bunch of people at arm's length here. So we do have Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We have more Taurus energy. We have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra energy. We have Leo. We have Pisces. Um, we have more Leo energy and uh, Pisces and Cancer energy. So take it as it resonates for you, my friend, but I feel like the person that you meet is going to be legit. They really are looking for someone to settle down with, and you look like the right candidate. All right, Aquarius, this is you, single Aquarius. This is the sneak peek for this week for the single Aquarius. Tell me what's coming up for the single Aquarius, please. Okay, got the magician. What's going on here? Single Aquarius. We've got the magician. 
Okay. Got things that are falling all over the place here. So, there we go. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. I feel like you have used the power of your magic, your, your um, manifestation skills to bring change. That's what it feels like. It feels like with the Ace of Swords, this is a brand new path, a brand new day. It is um, clarity. You're very clear on what you want. And I feel like you are manifesting whatever it is that you want, Aquarius. Uh, you could be manifesting someone who is Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo, possibly Aries. Anyone else we've got here? We've got the Page of Wands. You are manifesting new conversation with a, a single person. I don't think that it's anyone specific, I'm going to say. Because of all of these cups here in the Seven of Cups, I feel like you're making, you'll, I feel like you're, you're like, it's fine. I'll make my choice when it gets here with the Seven of Cups. It's like we have all these cups on the, on the, um, on the shelf, right? But we do have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. I feel like you are manifesting someone to like find you, someone to communicate with you, someone to speak with you. And um, it does feel like that it is, it feels like it's confusing. I wanna say that, that you, are, you are giving the universe a very general manifestation. I want someone to speak with me. I want someone to contact me. I don't want to have to be chasing people around. The Page of Wands. I want someone to be spontaneous and fun. I want them to be exciting. I want them to flirt with me. And I feel like this person you're telling the universe has got to be single. And I don't care how many of them you send at once. I'll sort it out when it arrives. We do have the uh, Wheel of Fortune here, which tells me there are faded changes that are coming. Now, I just want to mention that when, when the Wheel of Fortune comes up next to the Nine of Pentacles, it tells me that your business is about to explode. So if you are somebody who is uh, in business for yourself, it's about to get way busier for you, Aquarius. Way busier. Tell me about this, um, the Ace of Swords here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like that's what you're doing. You want someone who's highly intelligent like you. You want someone who is not going to come to you bringing all sorts of baggage. It feels like with the Ten of Swords, though, in the reverse, that you're still holding on to something from the past. This happens a lot. Like, we're, we're wanting to look forward and we're like, stop telling me, reader, about the person from the past. But as you come here asking me to give you unconditional reading, you show up with your bag full of conditions. And one of the conditions that you have is, but I don't want to have to let go of the memory of the person from the past. I feel like you're trying to cut them out. I don't feel like you're trying to do any funny business here, but I feel like you can't. I feel like you've been trying to cut this person out of these memories of being hurt or betrayed from the past. You've been trying to let those go because it feels like you're trying to heal yourself in this hermit energy here. So for some of you, you, you might be um, thinking about this from the past and I'm just going to be honest with you if you do have a connection from the past that you can't seem to let go of because they hurt you or cut you and they just became silent with you after that that because you haven't had closure you can't let go of them and if you can't let go of them you can't move forward because you can't show up you can't show up for your manifestation saying um, uh, but I, I still need an apology from the person of the past it doesn't work that way I do feel that if you can get this worked out, if you can find the wisdom to cut out this energy here of being of being handled incorrectly by somebody, and if you can just let it go, just let it go. I feel like you need to cut it away and let it go because you're manifesting like crazy here and you're manifesting new things, faded changes, but um, how do you do that when you're still holding on to the past? So some of you might not be holding on to the past. Don't take that energy if it's not yours. Tell me about the magician, please. What is your manifestation, Aquarius? Got the Eight of Cups. Uh, we've got the Nine of Swords. See, yeah, you're still thinking about it. Look, the thing is, is if you keep thinking about the person from the past and how they did you wrong and how they hurt you and they're terrible, awful, and, 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 and they just did it without regard for you and cut you and all of that stuff, you're manifesting them. Stop thinking about them. How do I do that, Elsie? Well, 
Take your favorite song and when you start thinking about that person, start singing that favorite song in your head or out loud or however you need to do it. It's the only way you're going to be able to push forward because it feels like you're being terrorized by old memories here. Um, we do have the Eight of Cups and the old memories are somebody who disconnected from you emotionally. It almost feels like somebody ghosted you. And because you have no closure, you can't let it go. So you're manifesting, but you're manifesting backwards, I think, because you won't stop thinking about this person who hurt you and how terrible they are for just ghosting you or, or whatever the situation was. It doesn't feel like it was a good situation. I feel like um, with the Eight of Wands showing up, that um, I think what we're talking about for you, my friend, is that you're very focused on your business. Tell me what's showing up here. The Seven of Cups is overwhelming emotion. You're going to have a lot of opportunities showing up. I feel like you don't think that your, your manifestations are coming in, but I feel like you're going to have a bunch come in at the same time. Tell me about this. We've got the Five of Wands, yep, the Four of Cups, <laughs> and the Emperor. Look, there is somebody that is going to be showing up here. I feel that you offered someone um, your cup. You offered them emotions. You offered them a new path of love. And I feel like they didn't say anything to you. This might be the person who ghosted you. But it um, doesn't have to be. It could be completely different energy. We have the Five of Wands, which tells me that you are... Um, that you are in sort of uh, arguments with yourself about what to do next. And I'm not really sure, is my manifestation coming in or not? It's like uh, the five of wands is indecision, right? Now you're like, maybe I just didn't even want that person anyway. I feel like you have a bunch of manifestations showing up at the same time. This money manifestation, but also this emperor is showing up, I feel. We do have the six of swords and the five of swords. Look, uh, sorry, the Queen of Swords. I feel like you are going to eventually cut this person out. You're going to cut this situation from the past out and you're going to let in these um, this new manifestation. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please. What is coming in that is fortunate for Aquarius, please? It's a new path of passion, my friend. So there is passion showing up here after a very long time of waiting for it. And when it shows up, you're like, I'm not even really sure if I want it. Three of Cups, someone's going to ask you out. Or you're going to be invited to some place. An invitation might be coming here uh, to go to a party, to get a lot where a place where you will get a lot of um, attention. Um, I feel like you're looking pretty good, Queen of Wands. Whether you're feminine or masculine, you're looking pretty good here. It feels like the Ace of Cups tells me that um, you're ready and looking for love. I feel like you get an invitation to go someplace that is public or a lot of people will be looking at you here and it is exciting and fun and passionate i feel like i feel like you are going to find somebody here yeah you're, there's a commitment coming there's a commitment coming here and i feel like as long as you're in your best self inside and outside and you take this invitation i feel like there is love that shows up here for you that's what it feels like i feel like the person that you can't let go of is an emperor that's what it feels like. This person is somebody who is very protective, you know, very stable and sturdy, has money, all that stuff. And that's why you can't let go of them. All right. So we have Taurus. We have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have more Aries energy. Uh, we have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Uh, we have Virgo, Sagittarius energy. We have uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Uh, we have Aries energy. All right. All right, here we go. Pisces, two fishes friends. Find out what's going on for you, singles. Single Pisces. What's coming up for single Pisces, please? Tell me what's coming up for single Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For this week, sneak peek for this week for single Pisces. What's coming up? for single Pisces, please. The Ace of Pentacles, all right, we're just gonna start there, are we? <laughs> Some sort of investment or an opportunity, my friend, in the 3D. Something's gonna be in your face. Yep, it's not a phone call, it's not a text, it's in your face. It's gonna be a face-to-face -face thing that you're gonna worry about. Someone's gonna give you an offer of something. Tell me what's going on here. And we have the King of Pentacles. So the one that wants to settle down, my friend. That's why this this uh, Ace of Cup Pentacles is here. I feel like this person is showing up. So however they show up to you, whether it's, I don't care, text, phone call, at your door, whatever it is, email. 
I feel like someone is showing up to you, someone who is ready to settle down. This king is the one that is responsible. They're the one who wants to provide. They're the one who wants to buy the house, do the stuff and the things, and have a family and be um, very solid and grounded and dependable for you. I feel when this opportunity shows up, you throw yourself into the Three of Swords. You start freaking out about it. Yeah, you're still wearing the blood from the last time somebody cut you. And uh, I feel like you're just not... It's, it's unbelievable. I want to say it's unbelievable that this King of Pentacles is showing up here. Because you still are in this state of being hurt or being cut. I don't think it's by this person. I feel like it's just past energy. And uh, this person is showing up with uh, with the pentacle, wondering how, how you are. We've got the queen of wands. We've got the queen of pentacles. This person sees you as the soulmate or as, their, as the person who they mirror or you mirror them. You two are the same. Look, we have the king and the queen of pentacles. And we have the ace of pentacles. We have three pentacles here. I want to say that you already know this person. This person is somebody that you already know, that you're friends with, that you met in the pentacle world. I feel like you may have worked together or volunteered together, or maybe th one of you was on the other one's team, right? You guys are at the same status here. Maybe both of you are managers in a business, um, you know, in a, in a large corporation. Um, it feels like with the three pentacles here that you already know how to be team players. Both of you are financially set or at least stable, right? Your bills are paid. You, you, you don't have a whole lot of debt. Like it feels like it's stability here. And you two, that's what you have to offer each other is stability. Now, I want to say it's, it's a very different connection than what you're used to in the past because I feel like what you've been cut by is passionate connections. So it does feel like that you have been in connections in the past that have been really um that have gone rogue <laughs> i want to say that you've been you've been used to jumping quickly into relationships or into dating people that end up being the queen of wands they go their way they do their thing they're independent i don't really care what you think like it feels like that that's what you're used to but something very different is about to show up somebody who is solid and grounded like you Somebody who is dependable like you, like somebody who is mirroring your energy here. And so it does feel like in the past that you've gotten into maybe a lot of um, relationships with fire, uh, people who um, are used to serving the self and not necessarily serving you unless you're serving them in fire. We have the Eight of Pentacles, and that's why you are not doing this anymore. That's why this is showing up, because you've really worked on yourself, Pisces. You've worked on yourself, you worked hard on yourself, and you're not about to throw your pearl before it's wine, right? You're not about to throw everything that you've worked for, put it down the tubes for somebody who's just going to use you for passion. Um, this person isn't necessarily settling down. This person's ready to settle down. So whether you're the feminine or the masculine, I feel like you're represented here. Tell me about the king and the queen of pentacles. What do we need to know about these two? There's going to be an investment between you and, and the king or the queen. Take it as it resonates. This is, is going to pop up as communication. Or a friend is going to come to you and say, hey, did you hear the king of pentacles is free? Did you hear the queen is no longer chasing fire? Did you hear that? Like, that's what it feels like here. It feels like somebody's been watching the other. Maybe you two know each other. But it feels like maybe you've watched each other grow to here. It could be. Tell me more. We have the king of cups. And we have the seven of swords. But can this person love me? Yeah. So you know that they're financially set. They probably look really good, very handsome, very beautiful, attractive, very down to earth. And I feel like you two have been watching each other grow. And you're wondering with the King of Cups showing up here, is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love that the love that I've been Hoping for is this love. That's a song, and I don't know who sings it. Sorry, if you look up the lyrics, you might find it. It's from long ago, from the 80s. I think an 80s hair band sang it. White Snake or something like that. Um, but the Seven of um, 
Swords is telling me that you're unsure. You're still unsure. As this person shows up quite balanced, um, you're still unsure. There's got to be a catch. Because you're used to dealing with people who move, move very quickly and fire and make decisions based on their own needs. They're very egoic. This person is making decisions based on your needs. Uh, they're kind of mirroring you in that energy. And you're, you don't believe it. It's like, I'm not really sure if I should get into this. When this person shows up, yeah, you've been you've been hurt before and you still carry burdens from that. I mean, you could know this person and you could have hurt this person or they could have hurt you. Maybe you guys have dated before, maybe not. Take it as it resonates for you. But we do have the Ten of Swords here, which tells me that there is some sort of betrayal that you're still carrying around with yourself and trying to trying to heal from. It could be from this person, maybe it's not. Um You've offered this person love before and it, it turned out in a fight. The only way that you two could finally gain ground or get balance or be balanced with each other is by not talking to each other. So why is the king showing up with this um, invite here? They are somebody who has been holding back or they don't want to get hurt either. You don't see them coming. This is going to be something that's going to startle or surprise you. I don't feel like you see this person coming at all. I feel like you're very focused on yourself and working on yourself, Pisces. I want to say that when this person does show up, that they are the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Um, so feminine or masculine, I feel like somebody's got it down. Like they are... They've been waiting to be solid enough in their own pentacle life before they decide to make a decision to come forward in love here. We've got the Four of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Ace of Cups and we've got the King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like that's why we have this here. It feels like the reason that you decided to just stay with yourself, be into yourself, do some work on the self. This is self-mastery, the Eight of Pentacles. It's because of this. It's because the last relationship didn't work. It became unstable. And then either you cut them out, <coughs> excuse me, or, or they cut you out. And I think that you're still wearing the wounds from that person moving so quickly here. How does this turn out here? Give me an outcome, please. For Pisces, the king and the queen of pentacles. What's going on here? We've got transformation. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what's arriving, my friend? The Three of Wands is telling me that what's arriving is commitment. What's arriving is change. This is transformative love. This king, these two kings here, I feel that's the transformative love. Somebody here is halfway to the emperor. I feel like they are they are looking for someone for um, a deep commitment with. And this is, your life is about to change. Everything is about to change because the Wheel of Fortune is here. Everything's about to change. Very interesting. And I think as things change, your fire sign might be coming back. I'm just saying. They might be coming back because you might have ended it in a friendly way and said, look, we're better off friends than we are lovers. I feel like you're getting communication from the fire sign. So it does feel like as you meet this king of cups or king of um, pentacles that this um, fire sign is going to be hot on your trail. But I feel like everything is changing in its fate. It's supposed to happen right now. This is the time for it. It's divine timing. So let's take a look at some signs here. Get you on your way, Pisces. We are looking at Libra, um, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus. We've got Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer again. Um, more Scorpio energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. We've got Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and there it is. And with that, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for being here. Sorry this was late for you, but hey, it's energy for the whole week. Why not? Love you guys. I'm out for now. Take care. Love you. Bye.